American Snake Pit. Interior, Walden House Hallway, continuous. Dr. Dan and Tammy Stroll. Did you read Albert's file? Seems he hails from another planet. Who's watching Sophia? Temporary staff, until we get back. Fascinating, co-occurring diagnoses. Pica, schizophrenia, anchoprisis, synesthesia, and hyperosmia. I had to look that one up. Yes, well, I'm proud to say that under our guidance, most of Albert's symptoms are under control. He does have an extraordinary sense of smell. We first thought it was part of his synesthesia, but turns out, hyperosmia. His files said he chewed then swallowed more than a dozen pencils. Yes, because of his pica. He also ate pieces of a ceramic ashtray, a book of matches, 27 light bulbs, and my credit card. We actually pulled that back out before he swallowed it. Don't leave home without it. Exterior, Albert's room, continuous. Both stop, about to peer through the window to Albert's room. Has he demonstrated any other disorders? Tammy considers if she should tell him. Albert has anchoprisis and has a fascination with feces. He is an anal expulsive type and, on occasion, smears his feces on the walls as an expression of anger or creativity. In some cases, he gives his feces as a gift. A gift? We've been working with him on that. It's been over a month since his last episode. Stopping at a table outside his room. Ooh, want to see a demonstration of his hyperosmia? Sure. Tammy pulls out a new box of pencils. Thought you might. Pick out a pencil and hold it in your hand. Don't touch the others. Dr. Dan picks out a pencil. Tammy lays out the rest of the pencils on a table, careful not to touch them with her fingers. Place your pencil on the table, anywhere you like. Dr. Dan does this. Tammy retrieves Albert, 20s, thin, disheveled, from his room. He picks his nose with alternating fingers. Albert, please say hello to Dr. Dan. Hello, Albert. Albert pulls his finger out of his nose and extends his hand to Dr. Dan. Dr. Dan stares at it. How about a high five? Dr. Dan puts his right hand up with his palm facing Albert. Albert grunts (gasps) and puts his palm out. Dr. Dan gingerly touches Albert's palm, then sits. Albert, can you give the pencils on the table back to the person who owns them? Albert picks each pencil up, smells it like a fine cigar, and puts each untouched pencil back on the table until he comes to the pencil that Dr. Dan held. He humbly hands it back to Dr. Dan. Wow, Albert, thank you. Albert rocks as he stands and puts his palm up toward Dr. Dan, carefully giving him a high five. Immediately following this, Albert sticks his finger in his nose. Hi. 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 (laughs) He likes you. Albert, it's great to meet you. Albert picks up the smell of Dan's blood-stained jacket. Come on, Albert. Let's go back to your room. As they leave... Albert's room is on the fourth floor in the West Wing. He can tell what they are cooking downstairs on the first floor in the East Wing. Amazing. Speaking of which, you didn't have much to eat. Let me show you the cafeteria. Yes, please. Then we can finish talking with Albert. Interior. Cafeteria. Day. Industrial. Each patient gets served along a single line. They sit. Dr. Dan puts his jacket on the back of the chair. They talk over their seriously basic cafeteria food, which is... Brown. Reminds me of high school. Mystery meat. Tammy laughs. (laughs) We try to keep the meatloaf to once a week. Exterior. Albert's room. Both stop outside Albert's room. Oh, damn. I forgot my jacket. Interior. Cafeteria. Day. They return to the table and search. I thought I left it on the back of this chair. Dr. Dan looks at where he left his jacket. It's gone. Tammy knows what this means. Dr. Dan speaks out, but none of the patients listen. Did anyone see my jacket? Albert seems to like you very much. And I enjoyed meeting him, but... Let's go to Albert's room. Interior, Walden House Hallway, continuous. As they walk through the home... Albert has the smell thing going. He also has an eating disorder. He likes to eat inanimate objects. Please, don't tell me... Messing with the new doctor's mind. He only eats the whole jacket of people he really likes. Usually it's just the buttons. That's reassuring. Interior, Albert's room, continuous. Albert excitedly bounces on the end of the bed as they enter. He has fingers stuck up both nostrils. Hi, hi, hi. Albert, 
Do you have Dr. Dan's jacket? Albert nods his head furiously. He drops to the floor, reaches under the bed, and pulls out the jacket. It is inside out and folded. He stands up and with both hands offers the jacket to Dr. Dan, who breathes a sigh of relief until Dr. Dan makes a face. What is that putrid smell? The buttons have been ripped off and Tammy is more than amused to report. Looks like Albert ate the buttons. He wanted to take a piece of you in, to incorporate you into his being. Then he, well, he wanted to give you a gift of something that was once a part of him, to remember him by. He should have sent a postcard. Albert Bean. I, I, I 